Hi everyone. Sunday, May 21st. Um, haven't made a video about my mill in a while. Um, I've recently upgraded it uh, to have a... I bought a nice uh, 6 inch vise to put in it and within that 6 inch vise I can then put in at an indexed point my little um, holder for cutting metal plates. Um, I, I, I do my plates in a two-step process. First I do a drill of four plates at a time stacked in this uh, jig uh, with an eighth inch uh, drill bit. Of course that leaves you with a little bird edge on the back side when you drill through all those plates. So then I do my second step, which is um, cutting out of slots. And I do a drop down and I clean up that edge uh, during within the G-code. I just drop down. So that's my Harbor Freight clamp. Clamps the plate tight into this jig, which is made out of some kind of nylon that I found. Um, Anyway, um, the bit that I use is from Suncoast Precision Tools. They, they're on eBay and uh, they're at suncoasttools.com. I buy these uh, 3 16 Thai aluminum nitride um, four flute end mills. Uh, they usually last me through uh, maybe a hundred plates uh, before sometimes I catch a burr and then I just see this thing start to glow and I can hear it grinding. Um, but uh, that's worth it to me. Uh, I don't know, maybe my G-code's not proper. Anyway, let me show you what I've been doing. This is 50 plates that I've done today. You can see they're all, um, all done with the same G-code. And I'll go ahead and run that. They pretty much come out of the uh, mill looking like this. The only thing that I have to do is on the back side there's some paint peel up on the back side and I just take a uh, a grinder stone to it. I wash it off and then I just rub it with the grinder stone and that knocks off that that paint peel up. So uh, anyway this is a 2.2 uh, kilowatt Chinese spindle. Uh, this is a, a homemade mill that I made about five years ago I guess maybe six so let me start up the spindle we're clamped in tight I have a water cooling or a flood flood system that uh, is down there and so it drains from my mill into the reservoir and then gets pumped back up so my deep code will automatically here we go, cycle start. The G code will start the pump. Come in, clean up the uh, hole. And then I'm ramping in. And then I do a conventional cut. And when I'm done, I do a climb milling cut clean up the edge and move off to the next hole. Speed of these is about, let's see, that's, that's a thousand millimeters per minute right now. And that's a 600 millimeter per minute cut.
There we have it. It's done. So I unclamp it, lift this, lift out the plate, wash it off. You can see the front is um, very clean. The edges are, well, if my phone would focus, edges are sharp as heck. That's another reason I take a stone to it. Um, on the back, there's just that peeled up paint. That's because it's um, powder coated. I don't know. Anyway, hope you enjoy. That's all I got today. See you later.